Nonstick skillets are great for small breakfasts, but if you need to feed a crowd, having a stovetop griddle that'll span over two burners is key. And Adam's here to tell us which brand is best. You know, these are really a breakfast cook's best friend, Julia. Mm -hmm. We have eight different griddles here. As you say, they all span two burners on the stovetop. Yeah. The price range was a low of about $45 mm. to a high of about $230. Ooh. Some of these are not cheap. So we have a mixture of materials here. These guys down at this end are all aluminum, mm -hmm. either cast aluminum or anodized or nonstick coated. That one right in front of you, sort of the gray one, is carbon steel. Nice. And those two last ones at the end are both cast iron. All right. The tests included pancakes, of course, eggs, of course, and really big, hefty, half-pound pub burgers, Ooh. all cooked at various heat levels that were appropriate for the recipes. Testers also did a little bit of abuse testing. They took a metal utensil and scratched the surface 25 times just to see how they survived. Now, one of the surprising things was that the cooking performance between the aluminum and the cast iron and the carbon steel, not that different. They all did a pretty decent job. But there were certain advantages to aluminum in our testers' eyes. Aluminum is a really good heat conductor and it's responsive to changes in the heat, so it will heat up and cool down quickly. The second thing had to do with weight. The aluminum pans were sort of between three pounds and six pounds. Mm -hmm. Why don't you pick up this one, see what you think. All right. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, no Ooh, problem. Yeah, nice and light, actually. The cast iron pans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Step down and pick up, say, this guy. All right. <laughs> I was not expecting this to be this heavy. Wow. Close to 14 pounds. I was going to say, that. this is a workout. Yeah, that's Whoa. definitely a workout. The aluminum pans are much easier to handle. On the topic of handles, they're very important. Mm -hmm. Testers much preferred handles that were stuck up, that were sort of separate from the griddle itself. Mm -hmm. Something like this is easy to pick up and move, as opposed to handles that are integrated right into the cooking surface. Right, I had a hard time picking this up off the counter, much less if this was a hot stove. And it's not even on a hot stove, exactly. In terms of the dimensions, you're cooking for a crowd, mm -hmm. you want a lot of space. Testers preferred models that had at least 160 square inches of cooking space. And it turned out that the width was actually key. Anything that was narrower than about nine and a quarter inches couldn't fit eight pancakes at a time. And when you're cooking for a crowd, more pancakes is better. For instance, this guy right here, he's mm -hmm. eight and three quarter inches. Ah. And you can see you have to stagger yep. six pancakes on there. What's the point of having a griddle? Definitely not ideal. One other design feature that surprised testers were the sidewalls on some of these. You can see that a bunch of them have these sidewalls. Mm -hmm. And what happened is that if the sidewalls are present, it would contain some of the grease. If they weren't present, and this is especially true of like the burger test, it would be true if you're cooking bacon, some of the grease can splatter off the edge mm -hmm. or it can even flow off the edge if there's too much of it. And when that hits the gas burner, <laughs> you get a little flare up. Not exciting not at breakfast okay time. Inside. Definitely not okay. Now these walls made it a little harder to get in there with spatulas and turn pancakes or eggs. And honestly, they didn't completely prevent the flare-ups, but they drastically reduced the frequency. So testers prefer having the walls. They're interested in walls that are about an inch high or higher than that. So when all was said and done, the overall winner is this. It's the Calphalon Classic Nonstick Double Griddle Pan. It's aluminum, good handles, good walls. It's got 177 inches of cooking space for about $55. So there you have it. If you're in the market for a new griddle, our winner is the Calphalon Classic Nonstick Double Griddle Pan for $55. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs>